Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here from National Weather Service here to talk about more precipitation for Southern California coming in tonight and continuing through Tuesday. Impacts should be moderate in most areas, locally high due to excessive rain and wind. These are the key points to keep in mind. This is a atmospheric river, two of them actually combining coming through and the pattern is going to continue through January 16th. Flooding, rock slide threat, in addition to burn scars, as well as rivers and creeks. This is a stronger storm on Tuesday, but it starts tonight. So heavy rain will move in tonight. It'll be windy along the coast and the beaches. Gusts 35, 40 miles per hour. Really choppy surf with local surf over six feet. We do expect strong winds like with every storm in the mountains and desert slopes. Widespread one to two inches of rain. There will be areas such as Orange County and Western Inland Empire that receive three or four inches up against the foothills. Heaviest rainfall overall, Orange County and San Bernardino Mountains. Rates could get up around six tenths per hour and the ground is saturated. So that means it will respond in terms of runoff and potential flooding. There also will be isolated thunderstorms and that looks to be on Tuesday, especially in the afternoon. This is a mild storm. So snow levels will be really high at first and then come down through the day on Tuesday, lowest Tuesday evening. Now, there's more precipitation expected for next weekend, potentially into Monday, as we remain active in the weather pattern. This is what it looks like today on Monday. An atmospheric river pointed in Central California. A portion of this will move across Southern California tonight and Tuesday. On satellite, it looks like this, a very mature, strong storm that is moving across California. Now the forecast for atmospheric rivers looks like this. Number one and two are coming through over the next 24 hours. Number three will stay well north of Southern California on Thursday and Friday. Then number four, and we've been talking about this one for a while, looks like it's on track for Southern California next weekend into next Monday, the middle of January. Okay, the atmospheric river coming through now and tomorrow morning looks like this. It will weaken, but two pieces of atmospheric river energy will swing through, one tonight and one on Tuesday. The next atmospheric river on Tuesday will swing through the San Diego area in the morning hours and into midday. Then it'll turn to shower precipitation and isolated thunderstorms. It looks dry for the rest of the week, uh, most of Wednesday and Thursday. The next system is strong, but poised to go west and north of us, slowing down as it does so across the west coast as it comes in late this week, as shown here on January 12th. Now, finally, next weekend, part of the atmospheric river and the next Pacific storm does break off and move towards Southern California as shown here on January 15th into January 16th. This looks to be more of a prolonged event, not necessarily stronger, but more of a prolonged event and affecting largely central Southern California. You can see on this chart, atmospheric river one and two will come through Southern California tonight and Tuesday. Atmospheric river number three, as you recall in the prior slides, moves well to our north, affects far northern California and the Pacific Northwest. That's late this week. By next weekend into the 16th and 17th, a series of smaller atmospheric rivers will combine to soak down Southern California. We've had a lot of precipitation. So with this forecast, it's important to understand that the soils, the grounds are saturated, creeks and rivers are running, and reservoirs are beginning to fill up, though nowhere near full for our large reservoirs. Take a look at this map of the precipitation across California in the past 14 days. 
Forecast precipitation looks like this. Significant amounts from San Diego to Medford. Now for tonight and early Tuesday, the main concern is central, south central California with atmospheric river one. Then the next atmospheric river will slide down into San Diego Tuesday morning. So the threat expands in the yellow and orange shaded areas where the rain may be too heavy at once or too much overall, given the saturated grounds. And we aren't talking about just burn scars. We're talking about potential for dry creeks, urban areas, and even rivers swelling with this rainfall. Predicted rainfall is shown here. Take a close look at your area. This is about an 18 hour period of rainfall Monday night through Tuesday. You can see the heaviest rain is expected in northern areas from Orange County to the Inland Empire. Snowfall, while it'll be very mild at first with snow levels up around 8,000 feet top of the ski resorts, it will lower on Tuesday as the colder air comes in behind the atmospheric river and showers continue. So mountain communities will pick up a couple inches of snow above 6,000 feet. The flood watch is in effect for most of California due to the excessive rainfall potential as shown here. The green shaded areas are the most likely areas at risk to excessive rainfall, too much rain at once or too much rain overall. This includes rivers. The San Diego River is expected to peak rapidly on Tuesday as shown here. Then a secondary peak with the additional rain next weekend. The high tide will be important for our coast and the high surf coming in. While it won't be as strong as the prior storm, we are expecting the high surf on Tuesday and the combination of the late afternoon high tide to present some beach flooding. Winds will be strong too, coming from the south and southwest. Mountain areas, like with most strong winter storms, 60 to 70 miles per hour, going down into the desert slopes as well. But also note the coast, 35 to 45 miles per hour for the open waters and the coastal cities, as shown here, mostly on Tuesday. What's causing this? The weather pattern looks like this, a large Pacific storm is approaching California today. It will weaken as it swings through Southern California. The next series of storms looks like this. It'll come in slower, but eventually swing through next weekend as shown here. Take a look at your area and see what the projected rainfall totals are. More to the north from the San Bernardino Mountains and less to the south near the Mexico border. Hourly rainfall rates are shown along with peak wind gusts that are expected on Tuesday. It remains wet potentially in the extended outlook in the middle of January, targeted for California. It potentially could remain wet in much of California, at least some precipitation after the 16th of January. Here are the highlights again across Southern California. Take a look at these as the key points about this latest Pacific storm and atmospheric river. Follow these links to follow the wind speeds and the rainfall as well as follow the streams and rivers. Thanks for tuning in. Always check weather.gov for the latest alerts.